Hello, this is Osa Juan with GearReport.com and we're going to start with the Timini Trigger. The Timini Trigger comes in in a complete assembly, so the whole setup, you're going to be able to pretty much drop it in into the into the lower portion. However, because of the manufacturing off of this, you will have to remove the safety selector on the lower. So uh, a lot of the times people will tell you that you have to actually remove the grip from the lower and we're kind of going away with a little bit with the instruction manual that uh, Timony has sent us. They have both the burbage over in the front and they have pictures that go on toward the backside. So it's really recommendable for you guys to read this, get familiarized with it before you try to set it together. However, let me go through with the process that I found out that we can do also without necessarily having to take apart the, the grip system from it. So, over here at the safety selector on the back side where you would also, uh, also do your mag magazine release. So from this section, okay, this side, you can actually press with your thumb while you wiggle the other portion and walk it out. You heard it click and we're actually carefully removing the safety selector off and you'll be able to see that your the pin still is attached over here toward the inside. Now, we're gonna complete the, the first part. You're gonna be able to grab your trigger group, slide it into the assembly, and it just drops in perfectly. Then they tell you to go ahead and get your pins together, okay? And you're gonna slide your pins into the holes for the trigger group. The one thing that I gotta tell you, and the instruction manual tells you also, is that these pins are not going to be set in place, they're actually gonna wiggle. So if I actually flip it around, they'll come out. So be careful when you do this, so you don't lose them. You can actually put, and they give you a, a, as a suggestion that you can put masking tape or you can put something on the sides to hold those pins in place. Now, this is a little bit of the tricky part. Your safety selector, you're gonna go back in, okay? And what I do is I actually put it right on into the, the proper spot I'm going to use a, a flat screw head, a screwdriver to push that pin down to allow me to finish putting that uh, safety selector back on in its original spot. You're just going to go in here, you're going to press that pin down and press your safety selector and we're on. So without having to disassemble the, the grip, I was able to uninstall and re, uh, install the trigger group, reinstall the safety selector, and I still have my pins that hold my trigger group in. Now, all of the air uh, lowers you utilize the springs within the trigger group to hold those pins together in a couple of the notches that it has. Now this trigger group, what it does, you have to use an Allen wrench and go through the, the top part over here in into the screws that are in the system and you're going to torque them in and what that does is pretty much going to try to raise the trigger group above and it's, gonna, it's going to put tension on those um, pins so the trigger group will not come off. So because it does have springs, the spring legs actually cut across on top of the holes off of the trigger group. So you're going to use again the same flathead screwdriver that you use to lower the pin so you can put your safety selector on, you are going to carefully move the, the leg on one side for the, for the spring. You're going to put your Allen wrench in into the, the bolt and just make sure that your pins are kind of centered and tighten it up a little bit doesn't have to be crazy tightened up in which uh, in, in fact if you tighten it up too much and you happen to have one of the composite lowers you might um, hurt it you might um, break part of it or you can damage uh, one of those composite lowers that you, you can buy for the AR platforms also so be careful with that and the manufacturer like I said there's a warning on this for that so don't over tighten it just tighten it enough Timmy sends you also two extra Allen wrench bolts and these are going to be pretty much your lock nuts. So you're going to select one at a time, 
be careful, keep them in the bag so you don't drop them or lose them. And then you're going to install that bolt into the bottom of your lower. If you have the hammer up or hammer down, uh, you'll be able to move it, but you'll have a little bit more clearance and space to start this um, screws by lifting the hammer. So, so Timini provides the lock nuts or the lock screws for the first part of the operation off of your trigger. And this part is a little bit trickier, so it might take you a little bit of time because you have to move those uh, spring legs off from where the hole is. You're gonna be able to set this bolt on top of the other one, this is gonna be your set screw. It's gonna be the one that locks it in place so your trigger group doesn't move. There we go. So now we can come over to the part where you're gonna, we're gonna test it out. We have this trigger drop block. So there you have it. You have your, your test block in for your hammer so to take the impact and not hurt your lower. Make sure that your, your hammer is pulled back. Your safety is on fire. You're gonna be able to test it out. It's good to test it a couple of times. Make sure that the trigger is not, is not binding and it's working perfectly. Well, as you see, the first trigger setup went somewhat quick, but always check your manual for it and the instructions on how to put it together. We can't wait to take this and match it with an upper and test it out in the field. So we'll bring you that part of the series later on. Thank you. Please subscribe to the GearReport.com YouTube page so you don't miss any of our great video reviews. Like us on Facebook and check out our website at gear-report.com where you'll find full written reviews as well as outdoor gear deals and coupons.